Welcome to Tech Heart. I want to chat today about my favorite Commodore 64 game, A Pig Quest. I went over to piggy18.itch.io and you can see the website. If you scroll down, it talks about the features of the game and uh, the credits. And then you can buy this bad boy for 9.99 euros. And that's exactly what I did. And I was quickly able to download the game and uh, I loaded it up on my emulator just fine, all right, whatever. And it came with a PDF. However, the game is released in a .crt, a cart. So I would actually suggest that y'all head over to protovision.games and there you can buy a box copy that comes with a cartridge. Now the box copy does start at I think 55 euros, but I wish I would have known this. I totally would have bought the boxed copy to get the cartridge so that I could play it in my hardware. At any rate, we'll take the chat down. I'm gonna kill the web browser and uh, be right back with you. I'm gonna make this bigger. And this is the manual in PDF format, or if you order the box set, you know, you can get the manual. And the graphics are killer. Here's our character that we play as. We're gonna go down and we'll read a little bit from the first page or the introduction. My name is Frank Further. Further, it's kind of ironic, come to think of it, as I've never left my village. Neither had my dad or his dad before him. It's the same for everyone in our land since our four statues of wellness were stolen one night many moons ago. Everyone seems to be cursed with numbness immobility and indifference <laughs> kind of sounds like 2023 adventure curiosity audacity and courage are words that have disappeared from our vocabulary i was born in porkville and as sure as the gods made little green apples i know i'm gonna die in porkville without ever leaving the valley oh don't get me wrong it's a nice and pleasant lowland with green pastures fruit trees wild mushrooms flowers and a beautiful pond. The only thing that disturbs the peace of this little haven are the mosquitoes and the fireflies. I hate these stupid insects, and I sometimes chase them. I have to be thankful to them though, as it is during one of my mundane bug hunts that I stumbled upon the entrance of a cave. Could this be my quest? A pig quest? <laughs> The manual goes on, you know, to show you the controls and lots about the game. The graphics are just killer. There's Frank playing uh, on his C64. Uh, it tells you technical stuff. See right here, it talks. So to play a Pig Crest cartridge, make sure your C64 is turned off and then insert the cartridge and turn the computer back on. You are not going to play a Pig Quest on an SD to IEC, you know, SD card. Look at the graphics, man. The manual is awesome and another reason that I wish I would have got the box set. It goes on to tell about all the different power-ups. Frank can get, you know, different mail or armors. You can get different weapons. You find these treasure chests throughout the game. You can get all this stuff. Talks about weapons and bonuses. Um, also, during the game, there's like, a, at the bottom of the screen, there's like little hints that pop up that really actually help you as you get through. Since I'm gonna be playing this on an emulated system, we're gonna start from level one. I've gotten up to the third level. It's really, it's a hard game, man. Oh, here, here's what it is too. This is the interface, so, you know, you have your health and score here, uh, other icons that show your weapons and your armor, any keys and uh, special objects. The number of statue pieces, we're trying to find four statue pieces for the end of the game. You do have a time limit. Then it goes on for the credits, the Piggy 18 team, and it was produced and published by Protovision. Antonio Savona and Morissette. Those are the masters, baby. And the graphics in this manual are just awesome. So that's the manual. I'm gonna scroll back up just so we have a awesome pig quest graphic on our screen. And then, I'm gonna load this puppy up for everybody. So let's rock and roll. Here we go.
PD-18. From the Piggy Team. By Prodivision. A game by A. Savona. And Morissette. Thanks to Jummo for the music. Let's do this thing. The game is really hard. If you pick this different difficulty level, um, Cute Piglet, Young Hog, Wild Boar will whoop ya. Let's go! Jump and shoot. All right, I think I can hang. Once you hit a bat, it goes away. Like, if you hit the bat once, it'll fly away. Of course, you want to try to hit them twice, so you let them get up on you. This has been said by others about a pig quest. Um, two things that I don't really love, and it makes the game a lot harder, which is cool. I wish that either flying guys couldn't go through walls, or uh, you'll notice when we go in and out of screens, they respawn. Am I the chosen one? Chosen? No, you are not! You just found the door to my temple. There must be an adventure to be lived. A quest to be fulfilled, right? There is no quest, my friend. But there's no way back either. So you might as well move on. And call it a quest if you want. And on your way, you could try to find the other five pieces of the statue. Over the years, they have been stolen by looters of all kind. Bring them back to the pigs, village, and restore joy and happiness. Okay, I'll try to do so. Let's go! See, the enemies all respawn every time you go into a room. Get some cloth. Hmm, that's weird. Couldn't go down at first. It's a blood bat. The biggest bat you've ever seen. See, the bats can fly through the walls, and it just makes it hard to get down there quick enough. And then if you walk out of the screen, they all come back, so... Anyway. Shut up and deal with it. 
is the way of the piggies. Doors open. Let's go. Oh, big spider. I will shoot you. And I will exit out of the screen so I have to redo it. See? Oh, I can step on your bum. Ho ho ho. I think that chest over there has the first, uh, heavy armor. Heavy armor! What a beautiful game. are open. Stupid bat! Dang it. Get caught on that ladder. Shoot this guy. I miss. Let's go. Ah, what is this puzzle? Worms. Like that bat over there. I don't think he should be able to go through the walls. Sure, it'd make it easier, but I think it'd be more fun. Ooh, jump over you, collect this orb. Bat flies through walls. My bullets no fly through walls. Oops, another orb. Hello, come on bat, fly through the wall. No orb. <laughs> Here comes the bat wall. Oh no, two skeletons. Got the bat though. Sometimes I just like go run and gun. Other times I try to make sure I kill everybody. If you'll notice down at the bottom, all those uh, hints and secrets keep popping up and can help you if you get stuck. Here's one spot where I think that bat is really more of an annoyance and a life taker. Trying to kill the butcher. I gotta contend with bats all day. in all the statue pieces. Oh my god, my, my computer locked. 
That sucks, dude. I had to push my password. <laughs> Took my <laughs> Golly. <laughs> my computer locked up the the timer or whatever, and it, it it locked, and I had to type the password in. That's enough fun. Dang, dude. Oh, that really worked me. There's only one more section to this level one, too, and look, I bet. Oh my gosh. This is a tough part for me. I'm gonna. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude. Oh. Oh my. Dude, we had one more section of level one. Level two is a really cool, fiery level. Like, the whole village is on fire after you collect all the statues. I'll have to show you guys more. Oh, duders. That was fun, man. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me, playing a little bit of Pig's Quest, and uh, enjoying these graphics and these C64 titles that I know y'all love just as much as me.